What up MVP crew, it's your boy Rod J back in the building with another video. Y'all, I'm over here looking crazy. Just ordered me some um, some breakfast in my throat, as y'all can tell, it sounded a little harsh. I'm not feeling good, but I just got finished watching this R. Kelly, Surviving R. Kelly on Lifetime, and I was like, I have to get up on here and talk to my people, because I'm shook, I'm shook. I'm just about to hop right on up into this video. If y'all aren't a part of the MVP crew yet, make sure that you go ahead, hit that subscribe button, do all of that good stuff, um, and like the video, turn on your notification bell, do all of that. I'm eating from a place called First Watch in Houston. It's a, like a breakfast brunch type of place. And I got me a chicken fajita. It's like a chicken fajita in an omelet. But it's the omelet's inside of a tortilla. It's weird. Okay, anyways, y'all. Disclaimer before I even start the video. My opinion is my opinion. Period. Okay? So, don't get an attitude with me in my comments about what I have to say about this R. Kelly situation, is my opinion. Right? All right. I don't even know where to start. First of all, R. Kelly's nasty as fuck. Let's just get that out there just so that I can ooh, release that energy. He's just nasty as fuck. But, like, I don't even feel like we can put all the blame on R. Kelly. I feel like some of those parents was in it for the money and once they realized that R. Kelly was keeping their daughter and the money in-house, you know what I'm saying? Then it was kind of a problem for them. And then they wanted to go out and find their daughters and do all this and do all that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from R. Kelly. R. Kelly's a nasty-ass nigga. He got nasty in his bloodline. I'm not, I'm not taking that away from him. But what I'm saying is R. Kelly's not the only guilty one in this. Now, I'm not an R. Kelly fan, supporter. By any means, I stopped listening to R. Kelly. You can ask anybody that knows me. I stopped listening to R. Kelly a long time ago. Anytime he came on the radio, I'm like, uh uh, change the station, change the CD, change whatever we're listening to because I don't support him. You know what I mean? So I've been not listening to R. Kelly. So this isn't something just because I saw the Lifetime documentary series, whatever it's called, that I feel like this. I've been felt like this about R. Kelly. But. Now it's just, it's come to light bigger on a bigger, on a, on a bigger scale, which I'm glad that it did because I have a friend, Erica, and I was just talking to her and she was like, oh my God, I can never listen to R. Kelly again. What changed your opinion about him? And she was like, the show. So then I was like, well, in my head, you know, like <clears throat> if these accusations were already out here, why did it take a show? of people saying it to get people to say, oh, you know what, maybe maybe he did do it. You know what I mean? Which is crazy to me. She said that she she never knew about the Aaliyah thing. Like she never knew about a lot of stuff that she saw. So that's why I say, you know, I think it did good by coming out, but the people who know and knew shit before it came out, like y'all was still supporting that nigga. I haven't supported that nigga in years. Like, you're the funny judge, just because I'm, I refuse to, you know what I mean? But y'all still reporting that nigga. I mean, y'all still supporting that nigga, so it's like, it's dumb to me. I don't get it. Back to the parents. I don't know any parents that I know that will every other weekend let their daughter, that's where I'm confused at in this thing. So, these parents of these 14, 15, 16, 17 year old girls was, cause they kept saying, I flew out this week, I flew out this week, I flew out this week. Where's y'all mom and daddy's at? Are these parents not caring about their kids? What parent lets their kid fly out of town unaccompanied by an adult to go see another adult? Like, I don't, I don't, I, I wasn't raised like that. And if I ever have kids, I don't think that, I don't think that I'm ever going to allow my kids to do anything like that. I don't think any responsible parent would allow their kid to do something like that, especially not a man. Like y'all don't even know this man from Tom, Dick, or Harry. Literally. Y'all know that he's R. Kelly, but y'all don't know, y'all don't know him. You know what I mean? We see, we know what people put out of themselves. 
y'all know Rod J from what I put out. You know what I mean? Like, we don't know this man. So for me, it's just, it's, that's weird. And that's why I say it's not only R. Kelly that needs to be locked up. It's the parents too. Parents had a lot to do with it. And I don't care what nobody say. I was trying to eat this all nice for the camera, but, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not to R. Kelly. Like, I heard some new stuff in the lifetime that I didn't know. I thought I knew a lot because I actually research a lot. Like, when I get invested in something, then I start to research it everywhere over the internet. So, a few years back, I researched a lot about R. Kelly. But I didn't know that R. Kelly was standing outside, um, the school and down to the McDonald's waiting on the kids. I didn't know that. Like, that shows, like, it kind of gives you an insight into, like, a predator's mind. Like, all this extra shit that they would do to actually, you know, get their prey. It's, like, that's just weird. And that just makes me think, like, my students, like, who's, is there somebody watching them? Like, I don't know, that's just, I don't, I'm, that's nasty. And then for you to go as far as recording yourself with, with the little girls, like, you already doing wrong. You want to record yourself doing wrong so that everybody else can know that you're doing wrong, so that you can go to jail. Have sex with the little girls without a camera like the rest of the pedophiles do, and get away with it. But you want to go and record, and then say that's not doing the video. We ain't none of us dumb. We know that that's you in the video, period. Like, I don't, like, how can you even try to say that it's not you in the video? The same room that's in your mansion, the Rocky Mountain room, the wood room, whatever the fuck the room is called, with the little circular thing, I know that I watched it. I used to watch a lot when I was younger, actually, and I feel bad for that. But I was around the girl age, so I really don't feel bad for that. But I watched it. So, I don't know. But y'all know, here go another thing, here go another thing. So, I was talking to my mama about it the other day because I was watching part one on the phone with her. And she was almost kind of like, now y'all are gonna try to read my mama, but she was, she was definitely saying he was wrong, but she was putting more, I felt like she was putting kind of more blame on the girls. You know, they passed and you know that's what these young girls be doing. And when she said that, it just kind of like popped up in my head like, do you not, re like, do you not remember when I was 16, I was actually dating a 27 year old and I ran away with him. If you guys stay up to date with my videos and y'all have already seen the video where I talked about when I was 16, 17 and I ran away with the 27 year old and all that crazy stuff. So, I mean, I kind of did what these girls did and was kind of almost in like the same situation except I could leave at any time. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't trapped down. I'm not the type of nigga that's gonna let somebody trap me down anyway. I fight for my freedom. Period. But, and my mom was like, it's different when it's your child. No, it's not any different. You know what I'm saying? Like, that I could have been out there in the same situation, but you calling these girls fast. But it wasn't me out there being fast. It was y'all trying to call them, y'all trying to call the police on this man saying that it's statutory rape or statutory rape, whatever it's called. And it's these girls out here being fast. But when it was me, it was like a totally, like it, it was a whole crime CSI investigation. Like that's, that's the double standard to me. And I hate to use my mom as an example of that, but that's the double standard to me that pisses me off about the black community and this R. Kelly situation. Everybody wants to say, oh, well, they're just trying to take another black man down. They're just trying to take another black man down. Well, you know how fast them girls are. No, stop making excuses for people doing fucked up shit. Yeah, other people might have had a part to play in it. But at the end of the day, he did a fucked up thing. Regardless of the situation, he was the grown up in this situation. So regardless of how hot tailed and hot ass these little girls was, he was like, he was the grown up. I don't understand why people are like, get that. And I'm tired of arguing with these hoes in the shade room. Y'all got mad. I'm not even using my fork no more. 
I'm not arguing with these others in the shade room about that. He was the grown up. These girls are 14, 15, 16, 17. When I was that age, I was out doing stuff too that I shouldn't have did. But like, everybody does that. But it takes... I don't know if I want to say that because the 27 year old that I was with, I didn't consider him a perv. But now looking back at it, and I hope that he doesn't watch my channel, because we're still cool to this day. That's on some perv ass shit. Hindsight is 2020. Looking back at it, that's on some very pedophile ass shit. Like being with somebody who's 16, 17, not even 17, because that's legal in Texas, but I was 16. I think I was like 15 when we started messing around. Like being with somebody that young, and you're well over 25, like, that's weird. Me being an adult now, I would never look at a fucking, I wouldn't even look at a 17, 18 year old like that. Just because I have kids, I, like I have students who are 17 and 18. So I don't look at them as adults until they're about 21. So you can buy your own drink, you're not an adult to me at this point. You know what I'm saying? And that's just kind of how I feel about it. And I don't, I don't, it's just weird. And if y'all like, mm, if y'all are out there supporting our girl, I ain't gonna say don't support them because I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you're gonna do what you wanna do anyway, so I'm not gonna waste my breath saying that. All I'm saying is, all these girls ain't lying on him. I ain't lying on him. And hold on, wait. So in the video, His brother's gonna say, well, everybody got a preference. He like young girls, I like older girls. Sweetie, first of all, everybody does have a preference, you're exactly right. But when your preference breaks the law and your preference is dating girls who are minors, then your preference has became an offense, period. You're a criminal now, you're going to jail. What? What's going on? Y'all are going to jail. Period. You broke the law and he needs to go to jail. Period. Like, I don't, un like, it just makes me so mad. I don't understand why we become criminals. Why he needs to go to jail. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just feel like in the black community, we have like a very, very, very big problem. And that problem is. One, child molestation. I know a lot of my black friends who have been, you know, and I don't want to say black friends, like I, you know, I got categorized my friends, but a lot of my black friends have said that they were molested as a child. I'm pretty sure a lot of my white friends were molested too. I don't know, I, I hope not, because I don't want people to be molested. But I say that to say, people are allowed to get away with that because of how society is treating this R. Kelly thing. It's like society, black society, a lot of black society, not all, but a lot of black society has tried to make it seem like it's just them trying to tear down another black dude. I don't feel like it's them trying to tear down another black dude. Niggas guilty. A lot of black people in the black community, they, they turn a blind eye to it. Well, as long as it's not happening to me, then it's cool. But what you don't realize is, in an instant, some shit like that could happen to you or even worse. Could happen to your kids. It could happen to your nieces and nephews. Like, what affects one person, and that's what I try to get all my people and all my friends to understand. What affects one person affects everybody. And I don't care who doesn't agree with that. When I see somebody else, hurt, like, in pain and hurting, that affects me. Just because it's not happening to me, it could happen to me. And I want somebody to be there for me. And I feel like with these girls in this case, same situation. Like, these girls aren't lying. They've been around for years upon years upon years upon years telling this same story. And if you have somebody who's going to pay you off to shut up, then what are you gonna do? You gonna shut your black ass up 
like most black people would, if people who are working 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars jobs an hour, they're not really, you know, they're not able to make ends meet like that. So if you got somebody who is saying, okay, I'll pay you $450,000, $500,000, right? That's a half a million dollars to tax free money to shut your bitch ass up and don't say shit about it. Hell, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna shut my black ass up and I'm not gonna say nothing about it either. And that's what these girls did for all the, so for all the people who were like, well, why did they, you know, why did they backtrack on their story, da 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 Bitch, life is a motherfucker. You hear me? And you, you gotta ride the shit out of life or it's gonna ride you. So for a lot of them, that was probably the only route of motherfucking surviving was let me go ahead and take this money because that's what's gonna put me and my family on an even playing field to try to build ourselves up in this world. I get it. And anybody out there that says that they wouldn't have took that opportunity, period, you're lying. Especially if you know that with the whole sex tape, you know, thing, and he got away with that. If there's no way to even, you knowing that, like, there's no way of you knowing that you're going to win in court. So, of course, you're going to take, like, people, like, I, niggas be acting real, real Christian, like, like, oh, no, I wouldn't have took the money. I went up to court if that was me, that he was doing that to me. No, you wouldn't have. None of us would have. We would have all took that half a million dollars and sat our black ass down a half a million dollars richer than we were yesterday. Period. So I just, I don't get it. Well, I'm gonna go. Um, our Kelly gave me a headache. Hmm. Comment down below. Do y'all think that y'all can take do y'all think that y'all can separate the artist R. Kelly and Robert Kelly into two different things? Are y'all still gonna support his music but not support him as a person? Because you know if you do that, you still put money in his pocket. But I digress. Or can y'all just not fuck with him in general altogether? Have all y'all watched it? If y'all haven't watched it, oh. I know you lying, Papa. Go eat that. Look right here. If you haven't watched it, make sure that y'all go watch that. Y'all gonna learn some shit, man. Got Leah. Mommy got married until Leah's 15, so. Mm.